How's it going, pals? This is Arnaz, and today on Twitter Reacts, we are watching them react to the WWE 2K19 DLC. So Michael Floridi said, or Speed Lemon said, how did Project Chompa not make it into WWE games? Hashtag 2K19, a very odd exclusion. I agree, it is very, very odd. Uh, a lot of people think he's going to be in the towers mode as an unlockable or something like that. I honestly don't believe that at all. Um, I think it would be stupid marketing. I mean, if he is, great, but I think it would be stupid marketing if they don't announce their NXT champion and then they call it a full roster. Or, you know, because the, they said, hey, this is a full roster, check it out. Um, if they didn't announce the NXT champion, you know, that could be sales that people, you know, could have bought because they just wanted Chompa in the game. Matthew Buckholes or Buck and Fish said, WWE Games, wow, for the first time since Warzone on Nintendo 64, I will not be purchasing a WWE game. Your DLC is a joke. You cut too many legends and you think zombies belong in a WWE game and big head mode is considered fun. Your team should be worried as I'm not alone in thinking this. Um, I agree with you for the Legends part. I, I'm really disappointed there's no Legends in the game. I, I get really excited, you know, seeing them come to life in a in a graphics, you know, such as what we have. And um, But I also think that they shouldn't be worried because of the fact that uh, there is an overwhelming support as well because our days of Legends is over, basically. And these new people are coming in and people want a current roster. So that's what 2K gave them. That's basically my opinion on it. Mental Cutthroat or Shadow GT 91 said 11 superstars for DOC. Okay. <laughs> Short and sweet. Suicide 3 Killer X9 or Alex Titty. Teddy? Titty? <laughs> I just got demonetized. No, I'm not getting it myself anymore. I'ma just play on my brothers. I just find it to be bullcrap that they took out people from last year's game that are still there. Legit Champ 92 or Miguel the Unicorn says, I'm honestly really happy with WWE 2K19 and its DLC. I'm still hoping for Nikki Cross and Chompa to be in some uh, to somehow be in. I have no real complaints though. Pre-order my copy in the next week or so. Cheesy Golf, a friend of mine, says, I just want real Jeff Jarrett to smash every single developer at WWE Games for the utter lack of him and other legends in 2K19. I agree, Golf. Shane Allison, another friend, said, Bitch, I literally screamed. My family probably thinks I seen a spider. <laughs> I don't know what that last part was, but it made me laugh. Marcus Barnett said, This is by far the worst DLC content ever. Brad Nelson 76 said, Okay, I've just canceled my pre order. First WDB game I'll be passing on since NES WrestleMania. There is literally no reason Ricochet, Cross, and Kendrick didn't make it as DLC at least, and not having Chompa in is the biggest blunder since Atari's ET. Uh, he probably posted this a little bit before it was announced, but Ricochet is in as DLC. Astros365 said, Worst DLC ever. Thank you, WDB Games, for making my decision easy. No legends equals no buy. And Josh Jackson says, very impressed with the WWE 2K19 DLC. WWE Games now even more excited to get the game. And then after that, I posted a post uh, yesterday, 14 hours ago to be exact. Uh, did you like the WWE 2K19 DLC? We have a whopping winner with 65% saying yes, 21% saying no, 7% didn't care, and 7% don't like nor dislike. So um, that's basically, you know, what I've kind of figured. Everything's a little split. It seems that more people is enjoying the more current uh, DLC. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And also, for now on, if there is a uh, DLC or something coming out or news on the WWE game that I do these Twitter reacts, if you want to use the hashtag DGReacts, then uh, do that and then you can make it in the video. Alright, so if you like this video, then please hit the like button. And as always, you can be a pal and subscribe.